All right, let's talk about the Tacoma here for a second. And I know that I said I was gonna be swapping it out for a Tundra soon. Hang on here. I know I was planning on swapping it out for a Tundra soon, and I still am eventually, but I'm kind of thinking about keeping it a little bit longer now for a couple of reasons. So the original plan was to basically build it in a pickup truck version of the 4Runner build. And I just haven't really seen that through yet. We've done a couple of little things to it, but um, I never really saw the, the end result of that. And the other reason is just that there's some tax related reasons that would make a lot of sense for me to keep it just a little bit longer. It's a long story, not gonna get into it, but uh, so I'm, I'm heavily leaning towards keeping it. And I wanted to run it past you guys, see what your thoughts are, and uh, just hear some, some opinions. So being the nerd that I am, I made like a rendering to see what the end result would look like if I were to go ahead with this, just so I can decide if I truly want to do it or not. This gives you an idea of some of the things that I want to do to it. It's kind of what I'm visualizing, what the truck could be with a little bit more time, a little bit more money, and a little bit uh, more thought put into it. I think this truck has a lot of life left in it still, and I think it could still be really cool and be a lot of fun to play with. So let's do a quick rundown of the truck, just so we're all on the same page here. This is a 2006 SR5 model, and it's an access cab, so it's the, the smaller cab, but the, the rear doors open up for a little bit of space. This is a four-wheel drive model. Um, it's got about 340,000 kilometers on it. As you can see, it's mostly stock. We do have upgraded wheels and tires on it, and we also upgraded the head unit to an i doing one that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in it. Aside from that, the interior is all stock. Needs a good detail. That's coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. And again, like we have these tires. These are the Motomaster Eliminator X Trails. Put a set of 265s on this one uh, with a set of NV wheels. Kind of a lower end setup, but it's doing the trick. They look pretty good. Um, a lot cheaper than the methods and the Dura tracks that I have on the 4Runner. But this is stock height, no suspension work done or anything. Essentially, we have a, a very stock truck here. Another thing worth noting too is that this truck does have a brand new frame on it. It was part of the frame recall. So despite other components being pretty rusty, the frame on this one is good. And the body's not bad either. As you can see, um, I've been working on getting a bunch of the dents and dings out of it. Major stuff is done. Uh, it's not perfect. It has lived kind of a tough life. This is not a show truck, but overall the body's pretty good. The frame is new, so we do have some pretty good bones to, to start with here. So I filmed a video recently comparing this truck to my 4Runner here, and it kind of reminded me that my, my original plan was to basically build this Tacoma into a pickup truck version of this 4Runner with a similar setup on it. In that case, one of the, the main upgrades would be the suspension system and the stock suspension is going to have to go. Uh, one of the questions that I do have would be, do I swap the Fox 2.0 suspension from the 4Runner onto the Tacoma? I don't know. This one does have Fox coilovers up front here and matching 2.0 shocks on the back. It'd be interesting to basically swap that stuff directly over onto the Tacoma and compare how it performs on the two platforms. Uh, the other option would be to just buy a completely new setup for the Tacoma and be able to compare the two back to back because these trucks are very similar platforms. Uh, maybe Dobbinson's, maybe Bill Stein, something like that. Another one of the really popular setups it might be good to test it out on the Tacoma and uh, kind of put it head to head and just see how they compare. I think I'll probably keep these wheels and tires for now, although even if I lift it, they might look a little bit small, might look a little bit like it skips leg day, but not too bad. It's not like they're super small. Um, so those will be staying probably, unless I just find something that is a much better option. We gotta do something about these headlights. These, I've already restored these at least once, I think maybe even twice now. They're still yellow. And what that comes down to is just, they're essentially too far gone. They're they're yellowed on the inside of the lens and there's no amount of sanding or polishing that's gonna fix that. Uh, it's not worth it to rip them all apart and everything. So, uh, looks bad on a silver vehicle, I think. I have yellow headlights and, and the reason why they can't really be saved is because these ones were really bad when I first got it. You could hardly even see through the, the clear plastic on the lenses. They were like really yellow. 
if I have a clip, I'll throw it on the video here. Um, so I think maybe upgrading to some aftermarket ones. I'm kind of thinking maybe doing some black housing ones. Normally I'm not big on black accents on a silver vehicle, but I think in this case, this truck could pull it off because we have the black wheels. Um, another thing I definitely want to do is tint the windows on this. And this window visor, it's only got one on one side, so I got to rip this off, make it symmetrical, either run no visors or get a new set, the matching pair, one for each side. But um, the rear windows are already tinted from the factory on the access cabs like this. So it'd be a matter of tinting the fronts to match the rears. And I had that done on the Forerunner fairly early on when I bought it. And I think it makes a really big difference to just cleans up the outside look. Um, I just don't like driving in a fishbowl where the sun's beating down on you. So that's definitely something that I would look into upgrading as well. This next one I've been back and forth on is an aftermarket lighting setup. And uh, I did actually originally have plans to do something on this and then I canceled it. I was so busy with the Forerunner and the new baby and just all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, I, I backed out of those plans, but Again, another cool feature of the Forerunner is the, the aftermarket lighting setup on it. And I think it'd be kind of cool to somewhat mimic that on this truck. And the main thing would be putting a probably about a 32 inch light bar in the grill here. I think Cali Rays probably makes brackets for it. Maybe I'll reach out to them and see if they want to collaborate on something. But I think putting a light bar in the grill is a really functional and really clean way to add lighting to the front of a rig. And I think it would definitely suit this truck. Um, another thing in terms of lighting, this model doesn't have any factory fog lights in it. These are just like little trim caps that pop into the bumper. So I do like the idea of maybe putting some aftermarket cubes in here and finding some mounts that puts them in the OEM position. Um, so I kind of like the idea of doing that. And then what I would do is, ever since installing that aux beam switch panel in the Forerunner, again, I've got a recent video on that, it made it so easy to wire up accessories that I think I would probably go ahead and do that on this truck as well and do another install on this for the lighting instead of like trying to wire in uh, like an OEM switch for the fog lights or something like that. So I get some lighting on the front. I wouldn't do anything on the on the roof just because I don't have a, a roof rack up there and uh, I don't know doing the whole like 50 inch light bar on the roof above the windshield with some mounts sticking up is a little bit uh, old school to me already now it's kind of I think that's kind of played it's it's run its course I think but uh, another thing is this grill I mean the SR5 comes with the chrome grill and the chrome rear bumper and to be honest I'm not a fan of either so Perhaps doing like a TRD Pro replica grill, kind of once again, like we did on the Forerunner. I think that might really suit the front end of this truck and uh, modernize it a little bit, but in kind of a classy way. Um, and if I am going to get rid of the chrome, perhaps we'll do some black badges instead of the chrome. And then the only other chrome on this truck is this rear bumper, which has seen better days. It's got some rust stains on it and a couple little dents. Um, I'm not sure if I would maybe vinyl wrap it and try and get it close to the factory silver and do a little bit of vinyl work for a video. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not really decided on that yet. Or I might just polish up the chrome and uh, get rid of some of the rust off of that and hit it with some steel wool and stuff. But anyways, might do a tonneau cover in the bed. Um, getting kind of sick of shoveling snow out of the back of this thing in the winter time. And it's definitely functional to be able to lock equipment up in the back. I'm not sure uh, what's involved in doing a locking tailgate then at that point, but that might be worth looking into. Another thing here is we don't have a tow package on this truck and maybe you guys can comment below and let me know. I haven't looked myself, but is there wiring tucked up inside these things, even if they don't have a trailer hitch from the factory that I can just pull down and, and mount a, a, an aftermarket hitch to? I don't know, but I would be interested in doing that because I do like the idea of doing a uh, kind of a head-to-head -head towing comparison video between the Forerunner and the Tacoma here. The only other thing we got here is I do have to finish up some of the paint work on this, particularly on this fender and these little fender extensions here. They're a little blotchy. I'm not sure if somebody has already rattle canned these ones before. It doesn't look great. Um, and if I'm going to keep it and kind of make it somewhat similar to like the Forerunner level of quality, I think we would have to do something with these fender flares and just uh, maybe scuff them down and spray paint them myself and just get them a little bit better. And then aside from that, we'll maybe do another final paint correction on it and uh, polish up the paint as best as we can. 
this truck has been through some stuff and it's definitely got some swirls and dents and dings so it's it, it, there's only so much you can do with it but it would be a cool video to just uh give it a really good scuff and buff i think so let me know what you guys think and uh, make sure to throw your opinions down in the comment section of whether i should do it ideas that you think would be pretty cool upgrades on this truck what you'd like to see for content and uh uh, yeah, I guess that's just the purpose of this video, just to talk to you guys and see what you guys think about this and what you'd like to see. Should I keep it? Should I switch it for a Tundra? I don't know, but I think I'm going to be keeping it for maybe another year or something and, and playing around with it a little bit more. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. By the way, that video of the big comparison between the Tacoma and the 4Runner is going to be coming soon. I've already got it filmed. It's just going to take quite a bit of time to edit it, so uh, be on the lookout for that one. Thanks guys.